So we got this new chassis prepared, uh, did some cuts in the front, cuts in the side, replaced some some cables and so so that this will be the chassis that we have to install instead of this one. So next what we have to do is to remove the old chassis. And we will of course show you how it's done. So first, uh, since this chassis is uh, some of the some of the screws are already removed, but uh, probably you are not going to be able to remove this chassis unless you remove this box for the power supply. So we will start with that. You have to. It also has a few since since we already changed the power supply and the motherboard. We unscrewed something down, but still, it's the same principle. You have to unplug everything down. This cable is the cable that's going to also be changed. This cable is a uh, new one already added. It's for cable cable number two is for the keyboard for starting the printer in front. Usually it goes through the through the harness plastic harness so for the cables from the behind. As, but as you as you've seen before, we've already moved the cable from the harness, so we'll be keeping it outside because it's not necessary to go. It's easier to go without harness. So all other cables have to be unplugged. This is cable 3, should be unplugged also. Sensor for paper roll. I will unscrew that too. Now the box that holds the power supply and motherboard is screwed from the rear side with a couple of screws. We remove that. Now we can get it out easily. Put that aside. Uh, next, what we have to do is to to move this paper roll. It's already been unscrewed, so we will just try to remove it as it is. There are cables for lifting mechanism for sensors and uh, cable 3 and cable for paper sensor. Everything has to be removed from the paper roll so the paper roll can slide out. This. 
so now we got everything released so we will also the the uh, i don't know what's the word for the this plastic wires securing the sensors in so we will also do that to a new chassis unplug the cable that we're gonna use for new chassis also these are the cables for the motor moving the print head left and right and cable for a pump also you have to unplug the waste ink pipe and you have to unscrew the lamp and the cooling pipes which has already been done so uh, this metal rod should also be removed it's for sliding of the cooling pipe during the print head moving to the left we will also mount that back to the new chassis so this is it couple of screws hold down the chassis and also from the rear side but to keep the video a bit shorter we already removed those so only the basic screws are now on and you take off the old chassis looks like this uh, there are some some useful parts on it for uh, further times uh, if something wears down it can be used but other pi parts are certainly for recycling only so be sure to do that as well now We'll take the new chassis Place it in its place, position some screws back on now we can see if the old part fits there's a bit of mounting this part is a bit tricky but we will manage it somehow right part but you have to fit everything properly the 
tricky part is on the, this middle side where you have to be Still, and you have to be careful. This side goes from the inside of the chassis, and it's so you can see pretty hard to fit everything well. Maybe, maybe if you put a screw on the left side to hold the piece from the inner side of the chassis maybe it will be a bit easy but it's really pretty complicated task so we got this part sorted out actually there was a uh, one metal piece was twisted over here so it we couldn't get a uh, perfect fit but now we did it and we're gonna screw back the three screws holding the front metal part in the place some ordinary ordinary original screws go go to the right and a few Extra screws go to the left. I'll put everything back as it was. these also back as well but we won't bother you with that on the video we will just do that additionally and this chassis as you can see uh, you can use the old cables from the chassis if you got a connect uh, connector at the end of this or should I say the beginning of the cables but this this version has longer cables that then don't need to be connected here without connect con uh, with the connector so you have to use these new ones so what we can do is we can plug this wasting pipe back and also that will be just fine also uh, what you have to do with pump is remove this uh, how do you call, call it this metal net and this sponge those two pieces must be removed you can do that with pliers just grab the net and pull it out so next thing you have to mount the paper roll which is not exactly used as a paper roll but has some uh, sensors on it and 
printer wants to have those sensors on when it starts and initializing. So it's a bit hard to put it in like this, but should be easier if you unmount one of these metal carriers. Also two screws, so we'll put that back later, but now we want to just slide the paper roll in. Let's see. Yeah. Almost there. see where the problem is the twisted part of the metal that we've twisted before is in the way for the roll so we'll just give it a push back a bit so it can I think that should be enough So actually it was twisted to the back, actually what we did we twisted to the front so it's not in the way for paper roll to slide in now so everything should be just fine now. side and when nothing nothing's in the way everything fits perfectly at first attempt and sometimes you lose your screwdriver but it's not a problem we have another one This can be put back. Let's see if we got something else 
we don't. We have to find something else. And we have to find the screwdriver. So we we'll need a screwdriver and pliers also. Now we can place the power supply back, but it has two holes for this holes originally made on the printer, so we'll have to unscrew those two first. it up a bit so it, we can fit fit these other screws back more easily. So now that we got that placed, um, we can go connect some of the cables, but also uh, we can now uh, fix the, the, the roll, the paper roll with other, other screws, which are originally from the Epson. Of course you have to it's good to have a magnetic screwdriver. That's one. 
do from the left side. So it goes together with the ground of the motor, moving the head left and right. Place the sensor back. It's a bit So we can now start plugging, plugging back all the cables. <coughs> cable as possible inside the electronics part. Then we can put back the cable three. the flat cables for the printer back one by one. five cables going from the sh chassis and there's also as you can see one cable missing that usually originally goes also from the chassis but we've decided that it's easier for us to keep it just 
outside because uh, the keyboard has to be on on mounted sometimes and has to be repaired also wears down down from turning switching on off so it's best to keep that cable as it is not going through the harness on the chassis. 